All right, peoples. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a review. I just recently bought a boat, and uh, I took hours and hours and hours uh, to research boats, and uh, I wasn't very satisfied with the things I found, like online or reading about or whatever. Uh, I had my eye on a couple different boats. Uh, the first one was a Nitro Z21, uh, 2017. Um, and then I, as I was looking at that, I came across um, a Legend Bass boat, which, as far as eye appeal, looked beautiful. I mean, probably the nicest looking boats I've ever seen. Um, I heard a lot of good reviews about them, but nothing too, you know, uh, specific. So what I wanted to do is uh, do a little video uh, and review of the boat that I actually ended up buying, which is a uh, Alpha 211 legend uh, so I'll give you guys a look at it and then I'll go over the specifics this boat is 20 foot 11 inches I got a 250 Mercury Pro XS on the back uh, missing the R which obviously doesn't really matter to me but it's kind of cool it's all blue uh, lettering to match the blue boat you get the dual power pole blades um, and those also match the color of the boat which is kind of cool uh, I actually put a brand new uh, lower lower unit on it just barely um, the one that they had on it was a SEI kind of aftermarket junk um, so I went and put a, um, a new Mercury uh, torque master on it which cost me like $6,500 so but, you know, I wanted a reliable boat, and I don't want a piece of junk aftermarket uh, SEI gear case that pretty much breaks every, you know, year or so. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. Um, pretty amazing as far as the, uh, the scheme, like of the, on the side. It's so much, so much prettier. Um, Got the upgraded trailer right. and the boat's kind of dirty right now it's been raining the last couple days so I haven't been able to chance to clean anything but you got the huge rims here blacked out rims which is kind of cool uh, mayhem rims whatever that is I think these are these are probably 18s yeah they're 18s low profile 18s it's pretty pretty nice you get the um, the trailers with this it's kind of like a rhino liner that you put in the bed of your vehicle. These, these come with all LED trailer lights. Uh, everything's LED, which is cool. I mean, pretty much everything does that nowadays. A um, couple cool features is this thing that says Legend right here lights up um, when you put the, the lights on, the trailer lights. So it's kind of cool, cool looking. And I believe this ridewithlegend.com also does. So that's kind of cool makes you kind of stick out uh, I went I chose the single console model gives you a little bit more room to move around yeah it's a little bit of an inconvenience for the co-angler um, but I don't have co-anglers very often and uh, so I'm not too worried about that uh, so retractable rod straps which is kind of cool um, my old boat had like bungee kind of stuff but these are nice they kind of stay out of the way and if you don't have any rods in them like with my old boat you get the bungee would be out here and you'd be tripping over it all the time if you didn't have any rods out so this particular boat came with a motor guide i believe it's 105 pound thrust i'm not a big fan of motor guides so probably if anything goes wrong with this i'm pulling it off i'm gonna go with the minkota um Vortex, or I think it's called Altera. Um, I just prefer those better. They're, they seem to be a little bit rugged, more rugged, and I'm, I'm on Lake Champlain a lot, so. Um, pretty rugged Fulton winches. I mean, that's about as rugged as you can get for those, those type of applications for your trailer. My old boat had a really crappy one. Same thing with the winch. 
that's like the top of the line I mean it's obviously not electric but I don't really want that but you got your step ups you get in your boat you can step on this I've already found that it's way easier um, so I was gonna do a review kind of before I took this out in the water and I'm glad I kind of waited because there's a couple things that I noticed that help this boat um, it's little things but um, just for instance the way this trailer is set up you got your roller here and it's lower than than this over here my previous boat the roller was way up here so when you drove it on you really had to like give it a lot of gas to get way up this sits lower and it kind of just glides right onto the uh right onto the roller way easier so much easier to load so um what else we got so you know let's do a little circle around here so it comes with the detachable or uh, the attached uh, straps on the back which is not a big deal I think it's standard but most boats are standard with it now some boats you still have to pay for it unfortunately um, it's usually like 75 bucks anyway but uh so you get the jack plate it's a manual um, so it's 10 inch I think maybe it's a 12 I don't know but that sure helps get out of the get a whole shot the whole shot on this is amazing it's like I mean my old boat had a 225 on it and this got a 250 and my old boat was the same exact weight and this thing jumps out so so much quicker um, but anyway so let's get up in here we'll check out some of the storage we'll go to the front of the boat first so I guess we'll start here obviously this is a little cooler um, it's kind of nice to have um, I've already well, you see how dirty it is I've already put some stuff in it and it seems to keep things really well so it doesn't um, your ice stays pretty good all day so that's kind of nice to have that we'll go here to the this is a little rod locker I got I don't have tons of rods in there right now but I only got like 10 rods in there right now um, but yeah this is wicked spacious compared to my old one so when I wanted to get a rod out of my old locker um, of course you'd have to remove a couple here and there and then pull out the one below it and it just gets crazy um, another thing is if you do tournament fishing or you don't want to just have a big hassle get these rod socks they'll save you a lot of time on tangling and stuff like that and they're cheap I mean these ones are Bass Pro you can get them for like three four bucks each they're super cheap these ones are Fitzgerald rods and uh, a little bit more expensive but they're woven a little tighter and they're made for your um, micro guides so your little so your guides don't pop through so on these ones your guides can pop through these holes and they'll get tangled up and blah 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 these are like eight bucks each a little bit more expensive but they work a lot better uh, I pretty much trans transitioned to all these Fitzgerald ones and I'm getting rid of these slowly um, Same thing with my rods Fitzgerald rods all the way unbelievable rods and Ardent reels actually I use tons of Ardent reels. They're my sponsor. I love them I still have a few you know older reels. I haven't upgraded yet but uh, yeah, anyways big big storage um it's lit up I don't know where the light is but somewhere around here I think it's a light probably up in here somewhere I can't see it but it lights up pretty good when you when you open up and we'll go here if, if you're a guy that carries his tackle in the back of the boat you know back here and you want to utilize utilize the front of the boat for more rods you can do that I mean this thing it's got room for another 12 rods if you can see it over there but I use this for tackle it's kind of messy right now. Calling balls by Arden. I put them there super quick. Bass Mafia. Pretty awesome boxes. Indestructible. Anyways, so that's kind of cool. Everything's, the pistons are nice. And another, a nice thing is uh, these deep wells here for water. So you'd have to have, I mean, I mean, I don't know how much water you'd have to have for it to actually come into here, but you know it's a couple inches anyway of water that would take to go over the sides so these are these really well made pretty pretty thought out so 
So we'll come over to here. This is in my my old boat. This would be where I've kept my spinning rods. It's kind of like another rod locker. But this is uh, I keep. This is life. You know, not life jacket. I'm sorry. Uh, rain gear. You throw throw a life jacket thing. The life jackets. My net. Navigational lights. Again, if I wanted to put these somewhere else, I could have enough room for my spinning rods and whatever. But, I mean, look at the depth on that. I mean, you'd have to have three inches of water to get into this locker. And then we got this little side box, which I carry a little bit more tackle. Um, Bass Mafia stuff. That's for your jerk baits. More Bass Mafia. A little box randomly for uh, scales and things of that nature. This is my Raymarine. Sonar module. This is uh, connects my Raymarine units. I got a pair of uh, A128s. They're pretty awesome. I had some uh, Lowrance before HDS. I liked them, but these are way more advanced. Way more advanced. So let's come over here. The seats are pretty amazingly comfortable. It's it's got a gel insert. You know. Um, it's actually kind of smushy right now it's warm but pretty amazing you got a little teeny storage behind it it's super dirty i gotta clean it but these are most comfortable seats i've ever been in amazing and then you also got your step up you can flip it up like this and uh yuck, dirty dirty i gotta start cleaning but yeah that's a letter i don't even know what you can put drinks or something in there probably put bait could be a little bait well, I guess, if you wanted it to be. But anyway, so another good thing is it seems very minuscule, but this big water gate right here, um, I've seen a lot of boats have little dinky ones like that big for drainage, and it just takes forever to drain your boat. Those big, big holes like that are awesome. They really, they drain the water quick. So anyway, so here's your ruler kind of cool good spot for it i mean i never even saw that for about two days so i mean if you're not know what you're looking for a lot of little surprises oh here's a little little thing under the seat i keep my buoys and some fuel additive is in here um super comfortable we got a little teeny gulf box over here i got my remote control couple of them to my power poles I got my registration stuff things of that nature uh, you got a little hole in the boat right here um, that's actually on order that's that's a, like a plug for my charger so you plug it in right there instead of opening up the back and charging it not a big deal but hopefully that will come in soon so you're I got my hot foot down here which is amazing my old boat didn't have a hot foot and I was kind of skeptical about using it um, but it's amazing I can control the, the speed of this boat by a tenth of a mile per hour if I want to so it's pretty amazing um, smart craft gauges I never had that on my old boat but it's kind of like a necessity now I think you you get uh, oil uh, temperature water pressures hours of your motor rpms gas mileage gas amount it's pretty amazing uh, so get that if you can I think all major um, motor companies have it now whether it be Mercury Johnson whatever blah 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 I don't even know if there's a Johnson anymore but Evan or whatever um, you get the uh, trim lever which is uh, what do they call it like blinker style which I actually don't use it that much on the right hand side my old one had it on the left and I seem to use it a little bit more I don't know why maybe I, I don't know but accessory panel I'm really still trying to figure this out I have no clue what that button is every time I press it it blinks and which is like an error out mode and you have to hold it until it goes away so I've never really figured it out if anybody knows what that is let me know um, other than that I figured out everything else O2 is for oxygen this is a gas thing uh, you can switch it over if, in case you have an auxiliary tank which this doesn't have so it's always on main um, 
this is to fill up your line wells. Click at a letter, letter time to go into auto mode, which will fill up every now and then. You got the horn, navigational anchor lights, which is uh, your front and back for your like nighttime green and red lights, uh, dashboard lights, uh, courtesy lights, which are I think under here, um, here, and then obviously here. There's another spot. Uh, live well, you actually have a live well light, which is kind of cool. It's like a little red light lights it up just enough and then your accessory panels you can light those up to like accessory one I have uh, my fish finders on that so here's the Ray Marines they're 12.1 inch pretty cool uh, I'm not gonna get into that maybe I'll do a review on those some other time but um, pretty awesome so you got your traditional empty auto research dials you got some pop-up cleats that are kind of cool here's a spot for my power pole um cup holders you get a 12 volt 12 volt uh button or button 12 volt uh, outlet right here which i actually never knew was there so i guess this is helping do this review uh kill switch gotta have that uh, i'm pretty sure every boat has it <laughs> steering wheel it's got the uh you know you can tilt it up and down which is kind of cool um, I mean, I think a lot of bass boats have that nowadays too. Um, one good thing is fiberglass, you know, on the console, uh, you have the billet around the, um, the gauges, which is kind of cool. It makes it stand out a little bit. Um, but the fiberglass is nice because a lot of boats go plastic. And it just things you know things break and the more fiberglass I think the better off you are as far as things breaking so plastic you know comes apart you know peels apart in the heat and blah 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 just awful so anyway so let's go over here so passenger side so you fish in the tournament yeah spots for your rods the butt of the rods here I don't know how many of that one two three four, maybe six rods and they, they come right down through here they pop up into here it's kind of a cool little spot that's gonna be clean obviously too but um, so pretty comfortable though even though you're a passenger so let's check out these uh, live wells these live wells are pretty big they're 40 gallon Unfortunately, in a way, you get, you get the divider. Um, I'm not a big fan of the sliders, just because in order to keep your fish decent, you got to fill it up all the way, and then you got a lot of extra weight in the boat that you could, you know, you could avoid if you had a separate live well for each. But you know, not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, the great thing is it slants down. These things drain out pretty much completely which is awesome my old boat you'd have water in it all the time and my old boat was they're amazing live wells they kept fish amazingly but uh, this thing seems like it's gonna be fine i like the white bottoms um you can see a lot better and you get the light in here there's the light see that when you turn it on that's kind of cool little legend logo right here it's kind of cool I think they put a, put that on there for their pros. You know when they're they're on TV, they open up their live well after they caught a good one. And there's their logo, which is kind of cool. Good thinking. So here's a back storage. Um, <laughs> I actually got some stuff I just bought the other day. I hadn't hadn't moved over to my tackle side. So you got your uh, fire extinguisher. This thing right here is uh, auxiliary power. Or back back power um, so when you so when you um, you know your batteries go dead after a long time being on the water using your trolling motor electronics blah 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 change your battery um, and this will you turn this and it'll switch over to your other batteries and you'll be able to jump start your motor which is an awesome 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 thing to have pretty awesome because I bet you anybody that's ever bass fished in a bass boat, you know that uh, that happens a lot. 
uh, happens to me a couple times a year and that thing you just switch it on and bang you're you're ready to go you don't have to undo batteries and switch them over and then redo them back to where they were blah 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 but let's check out this other storage here this is very deep i mean that goes pretty much up to my elbow it's got a light in there too these are all lighted or lit or however you say it um, but i don't know what i'd put in there i don't know it's like a lot of beer spot for a lot of beer uh, so let's go back here this is all the, this is a little dirty too but it's very well spaced um, gas tank 45 gallons uh, my other boat had actually a 57 but I think this gets better gas mileage so I think it makes up for it all your pumps they're all down there super easy to access Everything in here is fiberglass too. So, I mean, that will clean up super easy if I ever got around to it. <laughs> but all your batteries, you got your, my four bank charger right there. Your other batteries are here. Your remote oil tank. Uh, oops, your power pole right over there. And this little sucker right here is your power pole this is my power pole uh, basically switch it's kind of like the other switch but it's for your power poles so what happens is when I put it on the charger and if the power pole power is still on the charger it can burn out your your uh, pumps so I like to turn power completely off to it and you know and uh, make sure I don't burn those out I, I, I've just heard a lot of people burning them out doing that but I don't know if it's, it happens to everybody, but your gas tank, which is kind of cool because, uh, well, I can't really do it from the side, yeah. but super easy to put your gas in. My old one was a twist off and it was a pain. I, I usually had to use uh, pliers to twist the thing off. You got your oil fill tank, remote oil fill tank right there. That's the twist off. That will eventually probably gunk up and I'll have to, uh, use pliers for that but all in all that's the layout that's the layout of the boat pretty cool uh, people are always worried about how fast the boat goes uh, with a 250 here and just me in it um, all my tackle full gas live wells uh, headed up to like 73.7 I think it was uh, the other day so two people in it gets up to 70 real quick um, I didn't really try to go any further than that I was told this boat originally was like a 78 mile per hour boat which seems a little high I don't think I don't think it is um, I think 73 is about what I've read just about everywhere so and I've had it up to 73 and it didn't seem like it had much more I mean a longer run maybe but I'd say 73 so you if that's what you're wondering about 73 miles an hour I don't know why people care so much about it but uh, so yeah and you get up to about 70 you 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 really struggle with it a little bit to keep it from uh, chine walking on flat surface if you got a little bit of chop it handles much better It'd probably go a little bit faster actually. so um, another thing is it tows great uh, better my old boat they're the exact same weight but and they both had the same like dual tri dual uh, uh, axles, but this one just seems to pull better. I don't know if it's a little bit lower to the ground or if the weight distribution's a little better, but pulls easy and it handles amazing. This is like the most amazing handling boat. Uh, it cuts corners on a dime, uh, takes waves amazing. Uh, it's got a deep V hull. I mean, for a bass boat, it's obviously not a deep V boat, but for, it's got a deeper V for a bass boat than most. Um, really cuts down there pretty good. I mean, the design, whatever they did, make makes it very maneuverable. Awesome. Uh, what else here? The trailer, like I said, it's all rhino guarded and you don't have to worry about rust as much that helps other than that super happy with this boat 
Uh, I've been out with it, with it probably 10 times already, and it's been amazing. So, if you guys are looking for a boat, a Legend Alpha, I'd give it a try. I mean, they're expensive. I mean, this boat, brand new, it was like, I think it was $77,000, so it's not cheap. All right, so that's the review of the uh, Legend Alpha 211 uh, SC, single console, I guess. Um, it, this is a 2014 boat, by the way, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about it, and I hope if you're looking for a legend, um, that this um, gave you a little information to go by, and uh, good luck out there.